Welcome back, Zero K fans. Sorry about the delay for everyone watching in the stream. So, here's the thing. Bit of a weird thing. Not sure if it's uh, an SDL bug or a bug with Spring or what. But, here's what's going on. So, Zero K is working fine now. As you can see, I can zoom in and out and the frame rate's all right. 105 or so, it's perfectly fine, right? Well, before I was having issues where it was like 20-ish at most, and here's the thing. If I tell it to go borderless window, it'll break. It'll go down to like 20-something and be darn near unplay or uncastable. Set it to windowed, and I guess the window messes up, but it's, you know, as soon as I set the window to a decent amount, well, it works fine with roughly the same resolution. But here's the real kicker. I have another program that I can use to set the actual resolution of things. So I can set the resolution to something, I can set it to actually be 1920-1080. I do that, and as soon as I do that, the frame rate's back down to shit. But if I tell it to go up or down one pixel, and it's no longer exactly aligned with my monitor, the frame rate's back to normal. So I don't know what's going on, but whatever's going on is causing this whole thing to, I guess it thinks it's windowed mode or not windowed mode or something, but for whatever reason, it is not playing well with OBS anymore, and I don't know why. Anyway, just thought I'd get that off my chest before we actually start the game proper. So, let's actually start the game proper. Get everything back into alignment. As I was saying, before the game so rudely broke. So, yeah. North Chilean G versus RAR on Sever. This is not a map I'm particularly confident in as far as being a good map, but I'm curious to see if anything's changed. So, RAR on the. Not heavy tanks anymore, just tanks. They're now tanks. They're just tanks. And shield butts from North Chilean G. So, excuse me if I get the names wrong. Although bandits, still bandits, so that's cool. But, is this still a Kodachi? Yes, it is. Okay. And that's still a welder. I can't remember exactly what's changed. A lot of the names have changed. Yeah, Ogre, Minotaur, Emissary. Okay, so there's a lot of changes in this one. Blitz! Blitz is the new lightning tank. Okay, cool. I don't remember if Shieldbot's changed much. I don't think it has. Shieldbot was already in a really good position. The only difference is Roach is now Snitch. And everything else was already pretty much renamed. So we have no changes there. All right. So with that done, I... I guess we're back in. So we have... So we have the Kodachi coming in here. And not much coming in from North Chilean G for defense. They only have the one Lotus. And that's going to be... That's going to be okay, actually. That's going to be enough. The Kodachis might be able to get in one shot, but then they'll be forced away. And now with the Pick-It-Up, that is the new name for the Defender, that should be able to handle no problem. And same thing with the Lotus over here with the Bandit, though that is purely for scouting purposes. This is actually a nice thing about the way North Chilean G is playing. They are using units that don't really need to worry about this stuff. Kodachis are expensive. You don't want to lose them. Even for hit and runs like this, it's, it is a major risk, so you got to be careful. But... Still, it's it's the way it goes, and... Oh, Moose doesn't remember giving Sever nice water. Uh, really? Because this is bump water, I think. Eh, I don't know. Looks nice. I think it's bump water. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Yeah, the Kodachi up. Actually, Kodachi could go, be going down very shortly if it's not careful. Yeah, the Outlaw should be able to stop it, and the thing is, Kodachis are expensive. I mean, so are Outlaws, and if that Outlaw goes down, that'll be totally worth it, but I don't see that happening. That Kodachi is dead. Nice try, though. And surprisingly, an early Racketeer coming out from North Chilean G. Very surprising. So, for... I mean, to be fair, it is a tank factory they're fighting. I expect... They expect they're going to be running into a lot of really strong units because, you know, tank factory. Because tank factory. I mean, Minotaur. I want to say Reaper, but it's now the Minotaur. That is a new name of the Reaper. And actually, oh, no, I can't tell people not to fear it. Go ahead and fear the Minotaur. There's there's nothing against that. Blue Oyster Cold has not written a song telling you not to do that. So you may. At any rate, the... Now, well, the current setup right now, I mean, RAR is actually expanding quite a lot more than I would expect RAR being RAR. Their commander is also surprisingly unupgraded. North Chilean G, on the other hand, they are just... Well, they're going out into the world, expanding kind of slowly. Their own commander also not upgraded, but that's not what I'd expect. They're also, however, being very aggressive, taking advantage of the fact that this map is quite a bit more bot-pathable than it is vehicle-pathable. These are 
bot path. Red is pathable, just slow. Purple is impassable. Whereas for Kodachi's, yeah, everything but this S here is completely impassable. So no surprises there. Not a whole lot that can be done. And at this point, North Chilean G is pretty well... Well... Pretty well going to take over the entire south side of the map. Possibly also take the center with his Kodachi's being the only real opposition and not a whole lot other than that. And that's all that Rar is building at the moment. Just getting a bunch of Kodachis, not really worrying about anything else. Just the Kodachis. That's it. Hmm. Interesting way of approaching things, but honestly, I'm not sure how that's going to work out in practice. Because, I mean, the Racketeers are up. And while the Kodachis can get through the, the shields with their fire, it's still getting progressively trickier. Still, though, now we finally have a Minotaur coming in. That's going to be a bit more what I'd expect. Although, also what I'd expect for the, the Racketeers to hit. What I'd honestly have expected or figured to be possibly the better option would be Blitzes. The new name for Panthers. The Lightning Tanks. Throw a bunch of lightning on them because EMP hits shields hard. And also could just outstun the Racketeers. Or if the Bandits get too far ahead, well, stun them out. But apparently, North Chilean G is just going to back away and leave everything open as Rar comes in. And there's the Kodachi's perfect opportunity. It's exactly what they needed. And now they can just keep going down here, and there's... There is a Racketeer, but that's it. There's just the one. The Kodachis actually have a decent shot here. Rar, obviously, just checking to make sure that there's nothing being built, because that's what you do. Make sure your opponents don't have any metal extractors you don't want them to have, which is, strictly speaking, all of them. You don't want your opponent to have any metal extractors, but, hey, it's something. At any rate, Rar should be able to take care of this entire army pretty quick with half a dozen Kodachis and only one Racketeer. The Outlaws could still be a problem, though. It's making this into a suicide mission, but hey, the first opening fire actually does rather express my point about Blitzes and why I really think they would have been a better option here. Just because the fire is nice, it does get through the shields and everything, and it does hurt, but you can't easily hit with that much fire because Kodachis... Bear in mind, they deal damage mostly by burn. Like, they deal a bit of damage normally, but a lot of the damage dealt is burn. A lot of the splashing damage is burn. They only deal damage to single targets. Like, look here, their area of effect, that's for the fire. The straight damage is not the same. So, it's not something that stacks, is my point. Fire between two different targets doesn't, or two different sources doesn't stack. Fire is just fire. Which is one of the things that makes fire really weak. It's also one of the reasons why, because otherwise fire was incredibly strong when that wasn't the case. Absolutely ridiculously strong. But at this point, with the ogres coming out, there or minotaurs coming out, ogres are the new, well, the new artillery tank. I can't remember the name of the old one now. I try to forget the names of the old ones if possible, just to avoid confusion. But again, half a dozen racketeers. This is the thing. The preparations for anti-tank are in place. Rar is going to have a hard time with this. And this is why I think Blitzes, yeah, they are twice as expensive as Kodachi's, or, well, one and a half times the expense of Kodachi's, but they also can stack and get through shields quickly and stun everything, which makes things even easier to fight. So I honestly don't understand the logic here, but, that aside, seems like it's going to work out all right. For North Chilean G, that is. For Rar, not so much. Rar's going to have a very difficult time with this. North Chilean G's basically, at this point, they could just march... They could literally march forward and probably win. Like, the Minotaur is going to be easily stunned when there's so many Racketeers. There's not much it can do. So, yeah, this is probably going to be... Unless Rar decides to change strategy, this is going to be it. Rar needs... Rar, I'd like to see them try something else because they've got they've got a fair amount of resources. They'll require, obviously, switching a lot of things. Maybe just reclaiming all their tanks. Or switching over to Airplane Factory, getting a Thunderbird stunning all this out and then pushing forward. That might be the way to go. But at this point, I'm not sure there's much else that can be done. And North Chilean G, on top of that with the Cornea, the new name for the Eraser, or Sneaky Pete, rather. I'm not sure they're going to turn that into an Iris, which is the new name for the Eraser. The mobile version. But that could be the case. Mobile Cloaking Tower. Why not? So Rar at this point is fighting from a bit of a position of disadvantage. Another Minotaur coming up. I guess they figure just go by numbers. I do like to use the Faradays though. If anything comes forward from any of North Chilean G's forces and they get into Rar's base, the Faradays will slow them down a lot. 
and will allow for the rest of the units to actually get hits in. That being said, they actually have to get close enough, and this is why I'm wondering why no blitzes. Why not build blitzes? Maybe just use that and lightning everything to death. But we're not seeing that. Still, we are possibly going to see some damage from Kodachis. If any of them aren't in cap forever, or disarmed forever, or just blown up by a bunch of snitches, okay. I guess those snitches have no need for stitches. But they still did a good job. So, you know, this still interesting assault from RAR. It's just that it's tough to really know what's going to happen from here because there's there's not a whole lot of firepower that can be brought to bear at once. And while there are quite a few Kodachis coming in here and a couple Minotaurs here and there, it still doesn't look like there's a lot that can be done to get past the Racketeers. Like, the Snitches just did a great job making sure the army had no easy chance in. And, of course, more Snitches could come in because there is this... There is Cloaking! The cloaking works on movement, it only fails when something attacks. And now the Roach finally getting, or Snitch finally getting exposed, but even then manages to get its value. Snitches are 160 each, so that was totally worth it. Compared to the Kodachi's 180. Although that being said, we're now able to spot the Kodachi's if, or sorry, the Snitches if they come up, but even then the Racketeer army is still making that tricky. And does Rar have Lightning Gun? RAR doesn't have Lightning Gun, interestingly enough. RAR has no stats effect, no way of EMPing. But they're getting disarmed completely. The only thing, though, is that RAR does have a massive army coming in, which North Chilean G, not so much. They are actually really surprisingly not building a lot. Well, their army is expected to be, because I don't see anything here that would suggest having an army of any kind. But, oh well, I guess it happens. So North Chilean G at this point is pretty well... Duck. Despite the use of all the Racketeers, and despite this army that seems set up to destroy tanks, not a whole lot of damage has been dealt, and there's not a whole lot of actual damage. A lot of this Racketeers, but the thugs are behind everything else, and they can't get any shots in. The way this group is clumped up, the thugs are essentially just there for shielding. They're not dealing much damage, and while I do appreciate the bandit there, that's also not meant for me to do much. If the thugs were in the were more in the front line, I could see them making this work. I can see North Chilean G making this entire setup actually be a way of getting rid of the tanks, but at this point, that's not happening, and the army is just growing. RAR is just getting more and more forces in here, and nothing is going to stop them. I mean, except for the racketeers and large army that should theoretically be able to stop them without issue, but that hasn't done so at this point. And I'm starting to see the argument for the Kadachis there. I'm starting to see why. It, it does provide a little fear. It does set things up so that it's harder and harder to actually go in and attack because you know your forces are going to be set on fire and you might lose a few racketeers like these two here. And surprisingly, I don't see any convicts here to actually help deal with healing up all the racketeers. So eventually the fire will be an attrition force and that will allow Rar to push in with all these tanks. And I don't see a whole lot done to actually combat this. Even though North Carolina G has a massive economic advantage, most of that is... Where is most of that going? I mean, far that's going into the Caretakers, fair amount of that's going into the Shieldbot Factory, but it doesn't feel like enough to actually deal a meaningful dent into RAR's forces. Has North Carolina G been upgrading? No, they haven't. I'm really not sure where they're doing all this. I mean, if we look at the attrition here, North Chile G has actually destroyed far, or has lost far less than RAR. Way, way less than RAR. They've lost less than RAR. They have a better economy than RAR. They have, let's see, 42,000 metal worth of units compared to almost 10,000 metal worth of units. I'm really not sure where the discrepancy lies. Because, like I said, North Chilean G, they've, unless I'm reading that wrong, and no, I'm pretty sure I have not. So it's like, yeah, North Chilean G's only lost 17 units. They've only lost 276, 762 metal. Like, there's not much they've lost here. They just haven't built anything, which it just I can't understand. Although, ooh, that's a tough. That is a tough blow. North Chilean G losing their commander. And. RAR could be losing their commander in a second, too, and RAR's commander is actually in quite a strong state, but they go down. That's, again, a lot of investment, but now at this point, no, 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 RAR's... 
I got this backwards. Rar has done more damage. That explains it. Rar was just dealing, was being more efficient despite the EMPs. Okay. I got the attrition counter wrong. My bad. That makes a lot more sense. Because Rar used a lot more metal, produced a lot, produced more metal. The heck? Did this get... Oh, that's why! Oh, man! Wow, first time back problems. Sheesh. I haven't done this in so long and got screwed up. This is Rar's economy. This is North Chilean G's economy. That explains why I was so confused. I had the panels backwards because the window, when I was demonstrating the way the windows worked, it ended up screwing with the resolution and then I'm screwing up with all this. Okay, that makes sense. My bad. So, yeah, Rar had a massive advantage the entire time. That makes so much more sense. Rar advantages in every single conceivable way. That's simple enough. Okay, so anyway, thanks for that. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next one. It'll be against... It'll probably be correct. I'll double-check the positioning on stuff. It'll be Failthus and Google Frog on Isle of Grief. So, kind of standard map. Strong players. Should be good. Stay tuned. That'll be up in a couple seconds.